Hello friends and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. In this video, we'll be learning how to remove personal information as well as comments from a Word document in at least two ways. So there could be more ways, but we'll be learning two methods of doing it. The first one is we don't need to open the file at all. So first, let's create a Word document. I will right click here new and then okay maybe you don't see it right click new and then anyway i'll click on microsoft word document so let me just call it something like um doc one okay so this is a newly created word document okay i will i will just i will open that newly created file uh, and then add some text to it. In the interest of time, I'll not be typing. I'll be pasting the text directly into it. Okay. So this is a newly created Word document. In this video, you're watching, you'll learn how to remove personal information from a Word document's properties. This is important when sharing a, a document to somebody else. So I will save this now. I can click File S. I file save. I can also do control S. Okay. So next is we will close it. I have saved it. I can close it now. Okay. Now, if we try pointing, I, I try pointing my mouse at the file now, the one we just created, I will point my mouse now. You see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you look at the tooltip text, it says type Microsoft Word document, and then below that authors, DBOS talks. So this is what I'm telling, what I mean, that um, even at this point that we have just created a document. So at the time you create a new Word document in Microsoft Office, it already attaches certain personal information to that document, which can be uh, double-bladed sword, if you know what I mean. It can be a good thing or it could be a bad thing, depending on the situation, right? So just for you to know, right at the point of newly creating a document, it will already have some bits of information uh, attached to that file, okay? Sometimes we may need to share a document to somebody else. If it's a company document, ensure that you're allowed by your company to share such document. Otherwise, it will be a big problem, a big problem, right? So if it's just a personal document, you may still want to remove personal information from that document before sharing it. We saw that when a Word document is created, certain personal information gets added to the file's properties. Now let's right click the file. So remember the first method you'll be learning is removing personal information without necessarily opening the file. So what I'll do is, I'll right click on this file, which I newly created, and then I'll go to properties. And then I will go to um, details, right click the file. Details tab, okay, let me just get into that. Right click properties. How oh, come I don't see details? Details tab. Okay, so when I click on Details tab, you see some information in here. So you can already see authors, and it has DBOS Talks, which is the name of the author of this document, the one who created the document. Last saved by also the same identity, DBOS Talks, and so on. So it may also have the date, uh, the last touch. But this gives you an idea of what goes on, what goes into a newly created document. And this is something that you have to consider before sharing such documents to somebody else, especially if it is a corporate document. But even if it is a personal document, as long as your name is on it and some other info is on it, uh, then you have to think twice before sharing that document, right? So in this first method, we remember you right click on the document, you go to properties in the context menu, you click on details tab, 
And then now um, you wanted to remove this information here, especially the authors and the others. So you can click, there's a link here, someone below. The link says remove properties and personal information. So you can click on that blue link right now. And then it will give you this dialog. So a couple of radio buttons in here, two of them. So you can click on the radio button labeled, remove the following properties from this file. So already you know that the, uh, the details tab of the newly created document is showing certain personal information, especially the authors. So you can selectively choose um, such information that you wanted to remove from the properties of the file, right? Or you can just say, select all. So this is what I was talking about, the authors and the last saved by. You can tick or check on those check boxes, or if you wanted to just be on the safe side and you just want it to be clean in terms of um, not having any personal info on the document, you can just click on select all. And it will automatically select all check boxes, okay? And then, so remember you, uh, before that you have uh, clicked on the radio button called remove the following properties of the file. And then you click on okay. And already you can see the effect that it has removed the personal info which we were seeing uh, only a few seconds ago, the authors and the last saved by. And then now you can click on the OK button. With that, we have done the first method. We have learned the first method of removing personal info from a Word document, which is without having the need to open the file. So now if we point again our mouse at that same document, you will see the difference. Okay, so when you point, you wait a few, uh, less than a second till you get the tooltip text. Okay, let me just do it again. See, so you have type, you have size, you have date modified, but this time, unlike before, now you don't see the authors in it. Okay, which is a good thing. So also, again, if you do a right click on this file and do go to properties in the context menu, and then you go to the details tab, this time you will not see the authors anymore, as, uh, as well as the other information that we were seeing, like last save by, et cetera. Okay, so that is the first method of clearing out, removing personal information from your Word document. The second method is one in which we need to open the file, okay? So um, in this, I will be working on an existing Word document called Doc with Comments, Document with Comments. So let me open that. Now, even now, while we, before opening the file, I will just point my mouse at the file itself, and then you will see the tooltip text. It says the same thing, authors and something there, the author's name, the guy, the person who created the document, that person's name or alias is on that document. So I will open this document right now. Okay, so as you can see, there's something different about this file, if you're not so familiar. Um, there is definitely some text written on it, but besides the text on it, there are some comments on the right side of the file here. Okay, so this is uh, something that's been, for a few, few years, has been uh, practiced in corporate settings, uh, where in documents goes through different levels of review managers or team leaders who will go through your work, through your document, to make comments, constructive comments for you to correct, for you to rephrase certain things, add something, remove something, grammatical error, spelling error, whatever it is. So these are comments. Now, um, knowing that sometimes we may need to share a document we, it depends on the requirement, depends on the level of trust <clears throat> between the two parties, uh, between you sending the document and the receiver, the recipient. Uh, is, is the recipient uh, good? Or uh, is he allowed to have access to look at his uh, comments on the right side or not? Is it a good thing for the company or not? Depends. So if you wanted to clear off, <clears throat> remove the comments, then you can do this. So we have opened the file. 
and we wanted to remove two things the um the authors and other personal information in this file as well as these comments before sharing this document what we will do is this, this is the second method you go to file and then you go to info and then here you go to check for issues click on this and then you click on inspect documents okay before that have a good look please so if you look at the document before that before even opening the file remember uh, the tooltip text uh, shows the uh, author's name right okay you can see it now the second thing to notice that to note is that this file upon opening you can see that there are comments in there this, this is what we wanted to address in this step so to remove both personal information and the comments it can be done in two ways the first method i've already shown you the second is this one open the file and then you go to file you go to info and then you go to inspect document click that here i mean sorry and uh, check for issues and then click on inspect document so when you do that um you come to this dialogue what you do everything is state maybe not all most you click on the inspect button at the bottom and then it will process quickly and then it will give you the output of the inspection that has been done so it will show items uh, that contain information that you may want to remove and those items will be shown with an exclamation mark or exclamation point okay in this case this file has certain comments and revisions found as well as document properties and personal information okay so remember before opening the file you saw when i pointed my mouse at the file that it has an author's name in it and now after opening you also saw some comments on the right side on the right side uh right hand margin of the document so this will do the trick you click remove all here it will remove the comments and then you click here remove all it will remove the personal information and then after doing that you again click on the reinspect button and then you inspect again click again on the same button the label has changed into inspect and then now the difference is that after doing the inspection it did not find any items um, marked with an exclamation mark or exclamation point especially these two okay so now we're good you click on close and you can escape and now you see the difference on the right side the right hand side of the document you don't see anymore any of those comments that you were seeing earlier on right okay so what i'll do is i'll save now that's good and then i will close this the other difference is that when you point at this document now it shouldn't show okay there's the author still let me just so we're sure opening there's the uh, i mean the comments are not there anymore mm, it could be a bug okay so it could be a bug that the author is still being shown so anyway you can do the other thing which is to write the click the file properties go to details tab and then No, actually it's a bug because it is not showing here anymore. So it's a bug of Microsoft Word. You can pardon that. So because you can see the authors is already blanked out here. It's blank. So I can do a select all and just do it again. Okay, so it's still there. So it's definitely a bug, but um, just take note that there are two methods of doing this, removing the personal information. One is by doing the right click properties, go to the details tab, and then you click on this remove properties over here. As you can see, the authors is already gone from this side. The other way is to open the file and then you go to file info, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I hope we've learned something useful in this video. 
and something that you can use even right now. Uh, it may not come on a daily basis, but sometimes the need will come. And then it's good to know how to get around it, how to, what to do before distributing, sharing such a word document, especially one that is sensitive. Okay, for thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe. And I will be seeing you in the next video.